Elon Musk, the CEO of Tesla and uh, he's still chairman of Tesla and also chief engineer and so forth and so forth, apparently is also uh, a quality assurance engineer as well. There, There's a report coming out this week. Um, this information is coming from uh, The Information. Literally, that's the name of a publication, The Information, um, which I guess makes sense uh, that, um, you know, there's a testing kind of a relatively new testing program where there's like almost 300 employees of Tesla that are testing this um, new features of the auto autopilot, you know, with some of the little things that they can adjust. And Elon Musk is one of them. And I guess he meets with managers every week and sometimes like literally calls in from the test car. Um, and uh, that's uh, pretty interesting. Let's talk about it. I mean, obviously, it's good that they're testing it a little bit more. Okay, that's I'm all happy about that. But is it really the way to test the autopilot and any type of a self-driving software? I there's another opinion about that. So let me tell you about what's happening with with right now with uh, with what's the, what Elon Musk and Tesla are doing and what I think should be a better way. Okay, all of this is coming up next. Welcome to those of you who are watching me live on Patreon. Thank you so much for contributing to the show. And if this is your first time here watching me on YouTube, welcome as well. Don't forget to click on that subscribe button and the bell notification icon so you don't miss anything moving forward. All right. So let's talk about, it. you know, autopilot is a big deal, obviously. I mean, this is something that's been pretty controversial, right? I, 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 you know, there were some things where, and not just with the Tesla's autopilot, right? Just the self-driving um, issues that we've seen with Uber's accident uh, back, I believe it was in spring, um, and a few accidents that that obviously have been hyped up in the media um, about Tesla's autopilot. Now, the very first version of Autopilot 1.0 was created by Mobileye, the company that I believe it's an Israeli company that was now uh, since then sold to Intel. And uh, they had a kind of a breakup with, with Tesla because they believed that Tesla was pushing them a little too hard. There wasn't enough testing and they just didn't feel that their software could be really safe on the road. Um, Tesla ended up, you know, doing their own thing and their own software and hardware. And you guys probably know the story. But um you know, now, now that there's been some issues with the autopilot and Tesla, it looks like put together, you know, kind of a, a test program where their own employees um, sign up for this program and they're testing it out. Uh, just like I said, you know, Elon is 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 one of them, um, and, uh, and 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 it's a great thing. Listen, any extra testing is a great thing, but. You know, I've been going to a lot of different events, electric car events and conferences, and I've, 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 I've learned a thing or two because there's, you know, anywhere you go, there's like self-driving uh, companies popping up here and there. Um, there's different uh, theories. I've talked to quite a few different engineers in charge of um, other, uh, you know, self-driving programs said, you know, Byton, BMW and, and many other brands. And, and I kind of feel like I have a pretty educated opinion about it. So I'll tell you how it looks like the uh, self-driving features need to be tested and will be tested in the future. Before that, of course, let me give you a quick reminder that this show and this channel is sponsored by Climate Exchange, a nonprofit organization that's moving all of us to a low carbon future and economy here in the United States. And by the way, they are doing a really awesome raffle. They're raffling, raffling off three different Teslas and they're selling no more than 4,000 tickets. You do the math, math how, um, how good uh how good your chances are and i think they're pretty damn good so if you decide to do it uh there is a link in the description of this video the tickets are i believe about 250 dollars i mean obviously the chances are really good this is just limited to united states uh and even if you don't will win even if you don't win uh <laughs> the the one of these awesome Teslas, you're still going to be doing a good deed by contributing to this company uh, in their cause. Okay, so thank you to Climate Exchange. But back to um, back to Tesla um, Autopilot and, and, and how to test it. Now, uh, back at CES um, uh, in January, and there were a lot of unveilings, and you know, guys, I have a lot of videos and I stream live. It was a big deal. Um, there was this uh, presentation by Jensen, who is the CEO of, uh, of NVIDIA. Actually, I had a selfie with him somehow. I didn't, I don't know why I didn't put it up there, right? So here's a presentation and, you know, out of, I think, two, I know this was a keynote speech, obviously, um, out of like two hours of that speech, more than an hour was dedicated to uh, autonomous driving. Like, just think about it, right? The company that's famous for making computer games and uh, dedicated most of it 
to the autonomous driving. And, 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 and you know, they're obviously making their own hardware. And uh, NVIDIA is one of the original investors in Tesla and had a lot of the technology in it. I believe Tesla is moving away from that, creating their own chip. Um, we'll see how that goes. But NVIDIA has gone on to becoming, you know, one of the probably pioneers and leaders in, in this industry, providing the hardware and software uh, to uh, to the autonomous driving uh, industry and, and, and you know, auto, auto automakers and, and so forth. So now what they've been demoing uh, during that presentation, and I've actually visited their headquarters and we had some more conversations uh, there as part of a Western Journalist Association. So um, the autonomous driving features are bound to be tested in the virtual environment. They've created a virtual reality uh, where uh, the autopilot computer would enter and really, you know, think about it as, as when they train uh, uh, actual pilots um, um, to fly planes, right? It's simulated virtual reality. This is the same thing, except for the pilot is the autopilot. So it's a, it's a, it's a virtual, it's a software within the software, within this matrix of this world. And that way you can test it. And you know, you obviously watching something very similar right now at a regular speed, but don't forget when they're testing it, it all happens like this. You can uh, simulate a 60 minute, an hour drive that will take you an hour in like five seconds. And, and, and or 10 seconds or whatever, depending how powerful your computers are, right? So you can run a lot of different scenarios through this simulation uh, much, much, much faster. So all these miles that Tesla and many other manufacturers, you know, Wayne or they're, they're kind of uh, logging, that can be done within a day, what they've done, you know, probably in years. Uh, and I might be exaggerating some things because I don't know how powerful some of these computers are. And don't forget, when you're driving, most of the time, it's really that data is not worth anything, right? I mean, when you're driving on the freeway, everything looks and feels pretty much the same. You kind of have to wait for this, like, uh, you know, weird situations or weird scenarios or kind of weird markings on the road that uh, uh, in order to really test the system, right? Well, here they would create those in multiple numbers. So you don't have to, you don't need to be driving for 30 minutes on the boring highway where you know everything works. All of this situation gets created. And of course, they have to update the different uh, situations, different road markings and signs and the way how some signs are banned. Uh, but they showed us so many amazing things, how they can rotate the sun, literally. You can be driving uh, down the freeway, do a quick simulation of that, and they can literally rotate the sun and say, hey, is there a reflection on the road and the signs from the sun all of a sudden kind of creates problems from reading those signs or figuring out what the uh, road markings are? And you can do that much, 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 much faster than Elon Musk can in his car or his 300 employees or whatever. Um, so I really hope that Tesla is actually, you know, either building their own matrix or, you know, contracting that out. I hope it's not just the testing with their engineers. I hope they really have that. But, you know, I, it's a bit concerning that Elon Musk himself is actually one of the testers and, and, and you know, have so much, you know, obviously power to, to input whatever it is, these personal experiences, which may not be a very useful or good use case and so forth. Um, again, good for them for testing it. Uh, not so good for, you know, not doing it in this type of a way of, of a kind of a virtual reality matrix type of way. Again, I, I, they could be doing and starting to do it somewhere behind the scenes and I hope they do. But that's where we're at. And, you know, when I saw that today, the article and, you know, in the, the information, um, uh, you know, I kind of started thinking like, wait a second, uh, I hope that changes. <laughs> Let me know what your opinion about it and what do you think the future is? How do you think it should be tested now? How do you think it should be tested in five years? Definitely interested in knowing that. Meanwhile, let me just give a quick shout out to one of my new Patreons, Georgi Navary. Thank you so much for joining my awesome Patreon community. This is where you guys get to watch me live, which is really the fastest way to, to get to my videos, right? Like you just see them as I'm making them. I also do an extra mile segment where it's just for you guys, just for the Patreons. And thank you so much for supporting me. You know, I'm a full-time YouTuber now, so this really does matter. And boom, patreon.com slash is for electric if you want to uh, subscribe. But once a week, I do go live on, on YouTube to do my subscriber hangout and Q&A. That's on Sunday. It's already posted on the homepage of this channel, so check it out. You can set yourself a quick reminder and hang out with us this coming Sunday. All right, guys, uh, it's been fun. I will see you next time. And remember to stay charged.